He's dead. Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome to a new side project of Wario Land 3. Well, I had to finish the I had to finish the handheld quadrilogy at some point, didn't I? It's weird that I It's weird that like over the course of my channel I've went from four, then back to one, and then all the way up through them all. Now we're gonna do this. So I should say, the plan for this game here, while I get started, is this is gonna be <clears throat> Wow, he's not dead. The plan for this game, because there is like 100% aspect to this, <clears throat> which is gonna ruin my brain. So, I'm gonna attempt 100%, and unfortunately 100% does include some very, we'll call it heinous thing we have to do. But I'm still gonna try and go for it, I guess. But yes, I guess after Wario stole all of his money back from Captain Syrup after Captain Syrup tried to kick him out of his castle and drown him in his own castle, Wario decided, ah, I'm just going to go explore the world now. I like money. I'm going to go get money. Also, this is... This color scheme is very much a uh, Smash Brothers color scheme through and through. Are you aware, Wario? Aware of what? This world is in the music box. You were peering into. Where? I was the god that protected this world. But one day, a wicked being sealed away my power and took control of this world. Wario, I want you to find the five music boxes needed to break the hidden seal and recover my powers. If you find them, I'll send you back to your own world. Of course, all the treasure you find is yours to keep. Will you help me? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. So you're just going to meet a stranger and say, okay, let's go. So, I would say, if it hasn't been said already, if it hasn't been said already in the title or description, this is blind. Meaning, I've never played this game before. I have played a little bit of Wario Land 2, so at least that wasn't, like, 100% blind. This is blind. Also, this Wario Land title is... Well, let's see. The first and fourth Wario Land games were very much traditional platformers. The second Wario Land game was a choose-your-own-adventure kind of game. This one is it's probably more akin to a Metroidvania than anything. Stages Metroidvania. I would equate it to something like uh, Shantae and the Pirate Curse. Pirate's Curse. So, with Wario... Okay, can't ground pound. I have the shoulder charge and that's about it. So I can't ground pound, but at least I can do minimal... Th I can do some things. Uh, can I? Wow, I can't pick up enemies. So, <clears throat> let's get the elephant out of the room here. I have seen... I have seen some gameplay of this game, wa just watching others on the Yahatops. So I have seen this game being played. So I kind of know what I'm expecting, but I... Okay. So I sort of know what I'm getting myself into, but not completely. Can I swim? Kind of. Well, not enough to get up there. Well, this is definitely a thing later. This is kind of why I say this is like akin to a Metroidvania in that we'll get items throughout the game, which will allow us to come back to older stages in order to do them. Now, I should also mention, which I'm going to do it right here. Yeah. There's no, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed, uh, there's no health bar on the screen. There's not even a money counter on screen. War this is what- oh hey, Silver Key. This is one of those Wario Land games, where, once again, where Wario is indestructible. And the puzzles that result from it are a headache, and how they solve the puzzles, and how they give you interesting puzzles with Wario being invincible. Oh good, we have the roll. Ooh. Gold rupee. Gold rupee. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, and we have the funny trans- we have the funny haha -ha transformations. Yeah, we have the funny haha -ha transformations. 
Now, 100% of 100% in this game is going to include something. It's going to include something that I'm a little un, uh, little uh, unaware of and a little ah uh, bugger. Uh, hang on, was there a fire thing back here? I'm curious now. Oh. Well, it, there is, but it doesn't matter because... Oh, wait, I could have hopped. Okay. I'm going to try doing a lot of exploring to my own ill will. Ah, bugger. You almost screen transitioned me. See, so I do this and then I jump. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, let's go back. Oops. Well, this isn't going to work out, is it? Yeah, of course it won't work out. Okay. I just got to be a little more careful. Maybe I'm not seeing something. Maybe that's there to stop me from... No, never mind. So that thing we just picked up, that key there, or that, uh... Also, I'm going to try something by going backwards. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look what I've done. Uh, jump for it. Wario, go back. Hey! So this is something that I, that we, I at least get to, I get to talk about right out the gate. Is I can't really do it with all of this right now, but... There's these giant coins... In every level. I think there's eight of these giant coins in each level. Or is it five? Uh, I'll know better once we once we get like to the end of this stage. Or what constitutes as the end of this stage. I'll know better. But. Uh, collecting. All of those coins. Yeah, oh, bugger. Collecting all those coins does constitute towards the 100% uh, aspect of the game. But what it unlocks is something that we already get normally throughout the game. So I'm kind of... I've already, I know what these enemies do. Oh, no. No, no, no. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of uh, holding off. Off, we'll say. I'm, I'm kind of holding reservation if I want to try and get all those coins. Because the prize you get for getting all those coins is not really worth it. I think. Anyway, but this is the main draw of Wario Land 3, and why it's a Metroidvania of sorts, is we get items at the end of every at the end of every stage we complete. Okay, it's eight coins in each stage. Fair enough. So we get items in each stage. Now Wario has an axe, and that's a terrifying prospect. But Wario with an axe clears the way to a new stage, and that is going to double up. It does double up. So yeah, as you may have seen on the... It's nighttime. I wanted to look at this, because treasures... 100 treasures, which means there's 100 exits in the game. Now, I'm not going to show it right here, just because it has no uh, impact on us at this moment, but... There are four exits to each stage, effectively. So getting an item in one stage will allow us to either go back or forward to other stages. Which also have four possible items. What does this mean in the long run? It means that there are 25 stages. Yeah, there's 25 stages. And I, and I have to beat each stage four times. Now, I'm going to go in order here. But ba the basic idea is that I want to... I do want to... Oh. No. Bad enemy. I can't even reap your rewards, so why do I let you live? Um. Also, I have to remember to... I have to remember. I need to check check walls. Yeah, zombie. But yeah, I need to remember to check... Like, charging the walls, because... This... Oh, gosh. No. No zombies. Okay, we're okay. Uh, zombie Wario. No, thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm like juggling five things in my head right now. But yeah, we're uh, going to each stage several times to get several items. Um, what this what this does mean for like completion and routing for the game is hi. Are you stuck? Oh, you are definitely stuck. Well, if I could ground pound, I think I could fix you, but unfortunately, I cannot. So let's try going up. Hmm, I see the problem. Hold on, I have an idea. 
I have an idea. This may require a little bit of precision. No, oh, I got rid of him. Dang it. Well, I can't go up there anymore. All because I can't jump high enough. But yeah, starting out here, we're definitely going to get funneled into very specific areas and very specific rooms. Uh, can't go up. Well, maybe if I respawn that enemy, I can go back up. Hold on. But yeah, we'll be funneled like very specific rooms and very specific things. Hello? Oh. Okay. Okay, no, I can't high jump off enemies. Never mind, can't go up there yet. Like a first time playing through, we'll very we'll pretty very much get funneled into very specific areas. Oh god, don't touch me. We'll pretty much we'll get funneled into very specific rooms and areas. Okay, well this is where the stage ends. But yeah, we will get funneled into very specific rooms and whatnot. So, the first couple times, like, first time into an area, there would be a very clear path in what is forward progress. Now, oh god, no. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, zombie warrior. Indestructible. Wait, can't I? Oh, that counts. Neat. Listen, I played Warrior Land 4. I know how zombie warrior works. We jump through platforms. Oh. We even get this coin. Now, can I just... Okay, no, I cannot just bash through the wall. I mean, can you blame me for trying? You could, but don't. But yeah, um... Was... Oh, yeah. But the backtracking aspect of this, I will be trying my best to make note of things that allow us to backtrack. So, I have a handy-dandy notepad, which you can not even hear because it's getting so thin from notes I've written to myself over the years. But I'm basically going to be... If uh, there is something that will say, hey, you have gotten enough of Thing X, you've gotten enough of Thing X where you can do something in, in stage Y, I'll be making note of that. So, like, right now, we can't even do anything else in the Peaceful Village. Or N2. So, let's head off to the Vast Plain. Uh, uh-huh. No, no. Can you leave me be? Oh, I survived that. Okay. Now, I again, I do know what some of these... What some power-ups are. Hey, hey, buddy. Thanks. I do know what some power-ups are. So I will use them to my advantage. And the fact that I have... Oh boy, I went right through. But yeah, like how I have Invisible Wario here. Which is like a power-up that only existed in this game. For obvious reasons, because all I get to all I get to see me is like the clouds that Warrior leaves behind when he moves, and the fact that I am roughly in the center of the stage. Oh, that's the end of the stage right there. Well, I have acquired the key, but unfortunately, I I need to not be transformed to see the end. Ooh, money. Wait, is that a ladder? That is a ladder. Huh. In Mui and Teddy's Hante. But I think this... Yeah, that's how we get rid of it. Also, what's down here? Oh, it's the fact that I can't swim yet. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I probably went too far back. Now I have to do the invisible gate thing and all that fun stuff. Dang it. Why, Scooter? Why would you explore? Because greed is good. Haven't you not been paying attention to Wario this whole time? Greed is good, especially if you are Wario. And you are Wario. Oh, this is an exit only pipe. Well, there's the entrance pipe, which I can't go to because it's guarded by Mr. Mole here. You should have thought that one through, buddy. Well, uh, hit me. Hit me so I can pass through, my friend. And then this time we're going to go through the pipe, but we're not going to... Yeah, we're going to go through the pipe, but we're not going to do dumb things once we're out of the pipe. I'm not going to lie, I feel very much like I'm uh, like I'm downgraded right now because I don't have access to a lot of moves that I was familiar with in Warrior Land 2. But hey, that's at the end of that stage. Now, if I have a sneaking suspicion about things that happen here, we got that tablet at the end of the first stage. So I feel, yeah, the other half of the tablet. So, 
the game does have a lot of closed loops, so to say. It does have like a lot of closed loops with how things work. But to but it also has the ability to say, oh by the way, that loop that was closed, it's not closed anymore. It just it just got blown open. And we're very much just being told, go forward in the next area. You know the topic of conversation I started about, about for stuff? About, about remembering where I need to go? Yeah, me either. Anyway. Let's just pass by this game thing. Not important whatsoever. And... You have fun there, Tornado. And I think I might actually cut things a little short here. Because I don't think I got enough... I don't think there's enough... I think if I do one more stage, it's going to be a problem for me. So, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Wario Land 3. And coming next time, we'll go to the Desert Ruins, and maybe we'll be able to show you exactly what I mean by additional additional quests per area. I'll see you folks then. Take care.